class. If I want to find, first of all, where it's increasing, then we're going to find concavity up. If I want to find where this is increasing, first we just type, it's a simple one, 2x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 2. And then we graph it. Now, uh-oh, it looks funky. Well, I have a bad window. So the most standard one to use, I want to go back to zoom, standard, which is 6. Then I'll get a graph that should look a little bit better. There we go. Now, could it help to zoom in a little bit to see it a little bit clearer? I'm actually going to go zoom in just to get a, a better look. Oops, that still doesn't help, does it? A little too much. So if I just raise my Y values to say uh, maybe 5, could that help? And do I now have a nice, pretty graph? Kind of got to make it so it's a little bit easier to see. Now, does this look symmetrical? Yeah. Now, if we're asking where it increases, we're asking where we're increasing. Well, can you look at this graph and tell it goes from to that hill right there? And it also goes from this valley to that hill. So we can look at it and tell, but we need the exact values where it's increasing. So we've got to go find these exact hills and valleys, the, 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 the mountaintops and the valley bottoms. So we can then say the increasing, decreasing. So to find that top point, it is a max. Under trace, right here, max. So if you want the max, you've got to trace it. So you've got to go to that max hump hit second enter, walk your way across, hit enter, guess. That first hump, it looks like this, you guys. That first hump is at negative 0.866, correct? That first hump is at negative 0.866. How do you find this lower hump? Well, it looks like zero, but let's check it. So what we do is we second trace. And do you understand that second? This little one's a minimum, so you have to find a minimum. So we walk our way down. You got a left side. Walk your way across. You got your right bound. Enter. Uh-oh, that's not zero, is it? But is that basically zero? If you're to the negative sixth power, that's basically zero. It's approximating. So you can't assume that's zero. It's so small, assume it's zero. So this break right here is at zero. And I'm just going to tell you, if you do the same process, this one's 0.866. OK? So if I want where it's increasing, basically it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 0.866. And it's also increasing right here. So it's increasing right here and right here. So from here, it's from zero to positive 0.866. That's where it's increasing.